Hi, my name is Hayes and I'm a commercial and portrait photographer based in the southwest of France. I'm always looking for new tools, new accessories that can help me create the images I want. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use scrims and flags to control and shape your light. <laughs> Scrims and flags, what are they? Well, it's a material that you put between your subject and your light that will reduce the light, that will diffuse it or sometimes even block it. There are different sorts, different sizes and the ones that you will use will of course depend on the project you are working on or the desired effect. I will be using the scrim and flag kits by Godox, the SF6090 kit and the SF4560 kit, 4560 and 6090, giving you an idea of the sizes of these two kits. Now let's see what these kits consist of. One black single and one black double net to help you reduce the highlights on your subject. Really useful if you want to reduce the contrast of your scene or if you want to balance your image. We also have a one-stop silk screen. The name of it says it all. It will reduce your light by one stop and also diffuse your light. This will reduce and soften your shadows, giving you a less harsh look, of course, if you wish to. A black block solid flag that can cut or block the light. I also often use this as a negative fill, but more on this later. And finally, a two-stop silk screen to further diffuse your light and for an even softer look. You also have these fingers and dots that act just like the screams I just mentioned, but will cover smaller surfaces and areas. You have industry standard color borders to easily identify them. And these are open flags, which means you have an open border with no binding for softer transitions. There is no right or wrong way to use them, I think. Hmm. But remember, these are tools, so stay creative, be creative, think out of the box, but I'm sure these kits will help you create the images that you want. For my portraits, I often work on location, indoors and outdoors with a temporary setup. I don't have a lot of space and don't have a lot of options for backgrounds, backdrops, basically I'm trying to work with what I have. And you guessed it, this is where your scrims and flags will become really useful. They will help you control your light a little bit more, give you more freedom, more options to create the images you want. I wanted to use the textures, the plants, the greens, the bushes that are at the back of the house in the garden. But the light was already problematic. But thanks to the black flags, I was able to block specific areas to make my scene work. This is what we had to work with. The two solid black flags are blocking the lights, giving us an even exposure. I then added the one-stop silk to diffuse my light. For this second example, I went a little bit further with the initial setup. Same background, but slightly different angle. I wanted to get rid of the dappled light, so again, we used both black solid flags to block it. Once the flags were in place, we had an even exposure again. You can see that there is a little bit of lights in her hair, on her back, and just a tiny bit 
on your left cheek and on her chest. But I wanted to accentuate that. So I decided to use the two stop screen silk, not to diffuse the light, but to use it as a white band. It was almost 11 o'clock, I think it was past 11 o'clock, the sun is high, hitting hard, giving us a harsh light. This is the type of image that you would get without any accessories. I wanted a softer look. I wanted to balance my image so that we can actually see the colors of the tree that is right behind her. For this one, I added a two-stop sill for the face placed high up because of the angle of the sun. Then I added a black flag to block some of the light at the bottom half of the image. <laughs> and I added another solid black flag on the other side as a negative fill to suck out a bit of light and to give me some more shadows on the face for more depth. Now let's go indoors and see how these kits can help me in a home studio setup. Something I always struggle to do is photographing people with white outfits. Usually what happens is the face is correctly exposed, but the shirt or whatever they're wearing is overexposed. One simple way to solve this problem is to use a net single or double it's up to you and what you are trying to achieve and of course use the open side of the flag if you want a smooth transition i also did a few shots with the double stop silk as a bounce And one, of course, with the solid black as a negative fill. Which one do you prefer? I wanted to work with a hard light. Not too hard, kind of an in-between look. But I wanted more control on my backdrop. I wanted to be darker. So we are working with only one light. Here are some of the combinations that we used. One stop silk for the face and a solid black flag to control the light on the backdrop and another solid black used as a negative fill. Same configuration but I replaced the negative fill with a white bounce to fill up those shadows. Finally, this is what this scene looks like without any flags and screws. I am using a single Godox 8200 Pro here, bare bulb. You can of course add any additional light modifier if you want to go further, if you want more control. And for this next one, we already know what to do for the white shirt. A single black net will do. This is before the black net, and this is after. No more clipping in the white shirt. I am diffusing my light with a one-stop silk. And again, tried the black solid flag as a negative fill, and then used the two-stop silk 
as a white belt. Now let's take one of these poses and do something else. Do something that I would maybe typically do during a portrait session. Not that I wouldn't use some of these examples in my work, it's just that most of them were also used in this video to show you how the scrims and flags can be used. In other words, the image you're about to see is closer to my style, the mood, the vibe, the darkness, the contrast. Nothing crazy, but this is the type of look that I love. I will only be using the two black flags to constrict my light and give it a shape and direction. This can be useful if you want to emphasize a certain part of the image. For me, it's more about the mood. Here is a version without the flags. These scrims and flags are really easy to assemble and disassemble. These will become important tools in your toolbox, trust me. The entire kit comes with its own sturdy bag with multiple pockets that makes it easy to store all the different items. Plus, it's solid and it's slim. I will probably use these scrims and flags in my work in the near future for both photography and my film work. You wish to see more tutorials, you don't want to miss future updates and releases by Godox, then you should go like and subscribe their official channel. That's it for me now. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. Take care, and until then, please have a good one.